Hello everyone and welcome to set 3, I believe it is, of Let's Play Fatal Frame, based on your story. Um, haven't anything off screen, so let's just go. But since this is going to be a sort of a, um, set about me talking about stuff that's been happening that's weird in my house as well, I'm going to say something that happened kind of weird. Um, and I mean by kind of weird, I mean very weird. Basically, um, I'm doing a set on Fridays for Final Fantasy. And I got to a point where I'm uh, level grinding now. Normal everyday thing. I usually have some music playing or something. And oops, let's go this way. As I was uh, playing, I heard um, a weird sound. I, I mean, very weird. Hey Miko, Miku, Mio, Miku. Sorry. Um, I'll tell you what I heard in a second. On the night of the 3rd, the police received a report that four children failed to return home after 9 p.m. There is an old superstition in the surrounding villages about children being snatched away by ghosts, and some villagers indeed suspect that this is what happened to the four kids. Aww. Um, as I was saying, as I was level grinding, I heard a weird sound, and um, I, I heard it through my headset I was playing, um, what was it playing? Team Four Stars, um, Fall Four. Let's play. There we go. Go read. Grab my out. Shoot a ritual. Strangling. Hell on the day of. All right. Okay. So uh, for this, by the way, think of it like a cl uh, clock going counterclockwise. So this is zero, one, two, three. Stuff like that. So we need to put in the code one three one two. So each son each me. All right, as I was saying, um, I heard a really weird noise, and it was loud enough for me to actually hear through my headphones. So I took my headphones off and you know sat around listening, and I heard banging noises. Now. I'm used to the sound of uh, wood, um, basically, uh, how do I describe it? When you have an old house that has wooden floors, um, sometimes the wood will compress during the winter or during the day even when people walk on it. And later on as time progresses, the slight progress, or slight, um, uh, what's the phrase? The slight decompressing in the wood will pop out and make it sound like um, wood creaking or someone stepping. It's what a lot of people associate to haunted houses at night, because they hear that sound. That's creepy. Um, so I'm used to that sound because I've lived in this house for quite a while. I'm used to the wood creaking and whatnot. Um, that wasn't this. <laughs> um, it literally sounded like someone was upstairs stomping on the ground loudly. It freaked me the fuck out. I went upstairs, went to the kitchen, grabbed a knife, and roamed around the house looking for someone. No one's home. Front door's locked, back door's locked, and we keep the windows closed during the day. So, freaked me the fuck out. <laughs> um, as I said, I will keep you updated on anything that's ha that freaky happens, especially with this Let's Play, but damn, that terrified the hell out of me. I kind of wish I was recording at the time. But, uh, yeah. Old diary scrap. May 20th. we finally gotten through the move to Himura Mansion. I had uh, had a hard time cutting through all the red tape with the local officials. But, just as I had hoped, the air is fresh here. I, uh, it should be good for Yai and her poor health. Our, my daughter Mikoto seems to like this area, too. She's made friends uh, here already and is enjoying herself. Yai yeah, seems to think this old mansion is spooky, but I plan to do something. I plan to do some work on it, make it easier for her to live in. Once I get it settled, once I um, get settled in my research. The best thing about living here is that I don't have to go out to do my research. It's all right here in the mansion. I can be right by Yai's side all the side all the time. Now, this is a retcon in the next game. Uh, there's a character named Yai that appears. Um, and they sort of retconned the character to be this character that they're referring to. 
But uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. Do, 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 do. So yeah, horrified the hell out of me hearing that sound. It's been uh, about a week since then. So I've calmed down since I heard it, but holy hell. All right, I don't want to go in there. There is a um, type something film, I think it was uh, 34? The second level uh, film in there as well as some secret water. But, uh, which fully restores your HP, but there's a ghost guarding in. It's kind of a bitch. So, yeah, fuck it. Hold on a sec. No, 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 no. Hold on. There is something very good inside this room that I didn't know was there. Fucking knocking now so sound. Scared the hell out of me. It was in the game, but still, fuck you, game. All right, let's go back inside here. I'm letter. Okay. Oop. All right. Uh, we search scrap. There's a short crate towards the front of this platform. Walking towards it, you may notice Miku's head turning towards. Look at it. Oh God, no! Fuck! Ah, oh, Mrs. Nuffy! <clears throat> I didn't realize you're here, mate. Oh, you're you're an easy one. He's a random encounter. He'll appear every so often. Should I create towards the front of this platform? I'm assuming it's up over here. This one? Type 74 film. There it is. It's a pretty rare film that does good damage, so... Make sure I grab that. <clears throat> Alright, we seem to be doing good. In a few minutes, I may tell another ghost story. <clears throat> well, my personal ones. I'm gonna try my best to do a ghost story a set, but I don't have that many. I should go on the other way. Fuck. Oh well. Yeah, I want I want to try and do a ghost uh, a ghost story set, but I don't have one for I don't have enough. I may be able to do a few of them though. Whoop! Right in the corner. I gotcha! Oh, wait, first things first. <sighs> Another Ophida. A water wheel by looks of it. A water mill. Okay. Well, let's see what this is about. Oh, black notebook scrap. September thirteenth, three p.m. Tomoe's condition is getting worse and worse. She can't stop shaking, and she keeps mumbling the same words over and over. I don't know if it's some if what's happening is anything supernatural or not, but in any case, I think we'd better leave as soon as possible. Tomoe is in such bad shape she can't even move. I guess I'll have to look for a way out of here myself, even if we wanted to help. 
I waited for help. I doubt anyone would ever come look looking for us. <clears throat> Another Ofuda. Oh, that's disturbing. I hate porcelain dolls, by the way. They, they freak me the fuck out. Alright, to explain why Miu does that every so often, just turns around randomly. My uh, PS3 controller is really old. It has a habit of whenever I sometimes hold down for a long time and press up, like that, it'll flick and it'll register every so often going in that direction. Really annoying. Spirit Stone, Dankeschön. I kind of stopped looking at the guide. <laughs> so I don't know what's coming up. Outside of what I know from memory. Dodie Gates, going up to a shrine. Awesome. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, Someone was out the door. And they liked pressing that freaking button. Oop, so let's continue onwards. Oh, I take. After this, I'll tell one of my stories. This one? Yeah. September 11th, 8.16 p.m. We looked all over the mansion, but we still couldn't find Koji. While true that this mansion is huge, I'm certain we would have found him by now. Could we have already left? He's been saying something about more ropes since we took some photos yesterday. Well, um, wasn't really paying attention. Sorry. <laughs> I think it said they're looking for Koji, which I think was the um, uh, the guy that was inside the closet. Now, let me update, upgrade some stuff real quickly. Oh, bonus functions. Just a little bit more on these. Now I'm gonna keep leveling up my base, uh, my base uh, performances. So let's see here. Next is speed. All right. That should do for that. Back up. Picture. Woman in pain. Oof. Whoop. Whoops. All right. Anything else? Ominous. So I'm not sure if they're actually showing it or not. I know they show it in uh, future uh, Fatal Frames, but if you look at a ghost in this game or in any of the Fatal Frames, really, um, you'll notice that they probably don't have any feet. I'm not certain if they do that in this game for some ghosts, but uh, there's like this one they don't show it. Or they do show the feet. Um, this is due to a belief in Japan that ghosts don't have feet. This comes from the Kabuki plays, where um, ghosts were portrayed in a white burial kimono that was a little too long for them, so the feet was hidden. This was how you identified a ghost character. They also had uh, long, dark hair that covered their face. And they held their hands with their uh, uh, wrists limp. Um, so if you see that type of a thing, that usually uh, corresponds to uh, a ghost. Like, for example, um, Long Arms. His wrists were held over like that as well. That is a uh, traditional ghost sign. Thing over here. I believe there's a cutscene coming up, so I'll tell my ghost story after this. Well, that was disturbing.
I so wish they would re-release these games with updated graphics, updated voicing. Oh, it'd be so cool. Right. Anything here? Let's listen to this. Then I'll have some time to run around and I'll talk about my story. September 12th, 9 a.m. I found Koji. His death was just like the one in the mountain village. His head and limbs were severed. I can't believe what's happening. Oh, that's disturbing. So as I was saying, um... This is a ghost story that happened to me when I was a kid. Like, this is one of my earliest memories. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that, um... I've had a few other instances with this particular event. I would actually say it may have been actually my first recollection of a nightmare. Um, so I'm going to go through it quickly. <clears throat> when I was a kid, uh, my mom didn't have a lot of money. We were, um, she was a single mother, my dad was a deadbeat, and uh, didn't like, uh, he paid, she paid child support, but you know, you know how the, the, that, that's, that song and dance goes. But, uh, because of this, my mom raised me and my sister with my grandparents. Um, lovely couple. They're very nice. But, oh, hello. <clears throat> but, um, because of this, my mom worked late into the night and would go to, um, and would just, you know, leave us with, leave us with our, my grandparents. Um, this is around the same time my sister started going to preschool, kindergarten? Can't really remember. It's been a long time. She's two years older than I am. So, yeah, she wasn't in the house at the time. But, I feel like this quiet noise. But, um, my grandma would work. My grandpa, who was, uh, unable to work due to, uh, illness, he. The sofa that's still sealing it? Yeah, it is. Um,. He would watch over me when I was when uh, my mom was at work and everyone else was gone. So um, they had two TVs, one in his bedroom and one in the living room. And he would always watch TV in the bedroom or in the living room, and I would watch TV in his bedroom because kids shows were annoying. <laughs> anyway, um, I try to go save. Yeah, I'm gonna do that quickly. Anyway, um. Gotcha. Anyway, um... <clears throat> and we'll stop flipping backwards. <clears throat> anyway, one day I was at... In the living room... Or not in the living room. I was in the bedroom watching TV. And I had this really... Really bad feeling. I had no words to describe it back then. I do now, but I'm not getting into that. But, uh, it just... Something felt bad. That's all, I, that's all I, could, I could think of to describe it. And intrepid little youngster that I was, I was looking for whatever this bad feeling was. And I was walking around the room, looking around, open the window, look outside, nothing there. And I stood next to one of the windows. Now, the layout of this bedroom was, there was a door behind me on the opposite wall is a um, three large windows... And to the right of that, on the right wall, is a door that leads into a um, closet, a walk-in closet. And on that door was a full-body mirror. Now, I was uh, looking around, I looked over at the mirror and noticed that there was no reflection in it other than the room itself. Stupid, dumb fuck me thought, hey, the mirror's broken. So I went over to look at it, still feeling weird. And... I stood in front of the mirror, looked into it, and on the ground in the reflection, behind where I was standing, there was this black shape. I couldn't really explain what it looked like. And as I got closer to it, that bad feeling got bigger by looks while I was looking at it. Look at the mirror. That bad feeling just kept getting worse and worse. Until eventually... Where's that fucking... There it is. Until eventually, I would say I right in front of the mirror. I should have been seeing myself in the reflection as well, but I didn't see anything. 
No oh, gods. Two gods. So, oh gods, I'm about to deal with this first before I continue. Come on, you little bitch. Nope! Gotcha! Where is it? There you are. Come on. There you are. Nope. <clears throat> Still doing good. Look for the distortion. There you are. Damn it. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I knew she'll get me. <clears throat> That was poorly timed. Come on, come on. Got it, okay. So as I was saying, um I remember this the mask sitting there in the back the back of the room. Um in the mirror. And it freaked me out, but you know, I got closer to the mirror, looked at it, and pick up whatever's there. There it is. And as I stood closer, right around the mirror, it looked up, as in I could make out that it had a head looking up at me. And the only thing I remember from that moment on is red. I remember red eyes. Now. After that, I have no memory, because I was so young, and that freaked me the fuck out. But, if it wasn't for the fact that I've actually seen that thing again later on, and I've actually had other people see it as well, I would, I would chalk that up to just a nightmare that I had as a kid. But that is my most freaky memory as a kid. Ooh. And also, um... One of my earliest memories. It's also the reason why I'm terrified of mirrors. Anyway. September 12th, 1.45pm. My sixth sense is telling me some children are playing here. I can't see them, but they are. They, they keep calling out to me. Are they playing tag or hide and seek, maybe? They might be the children in that photo. September 12th, 4.30pm. Uh, there were human hands, or heads, in that room. So many of them. They were cut off by the Himoto family master. And they were all trying to tell me something. I never should have come here. I should have trusted that sixth sense of mine. Oof. So yeah, that was, that's my uh, ghost story for tonight. And it, uh... One of those stories that really sticks with me even, at, even now. Terrified the hell out of me, to no end. Alright, but that's going to be it for this set. I'm going to save. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll try for a longer set next week if I'm able to get around to it. But, until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye-bye!